Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pat from Learn About Languages. If you're new, hello, welcome, subscribe. Look at that, look at that logo, isn't it beautiful? I've got the, the merch back on. It's not available for sale yet, but um, it will be someday. Thank you for being here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a language superpower. I believe we're on number three now, should be language superpower number three, which is consistency. Consistency is a language learning superpower. It's something that I'm not great with when it comes to making these videos. I'm getting there, I'm getting a bit better, I'm getting a bit more consistent, but with language learning, I certainly am a master. I am very consistent with my daily interactions with my target languages, and this is why I learn, and I learn with ease. So if you too want to master your target language, you've got to be an expert at being consistent and studying every single day. When I say studying, what I mean really is having an interaction, being in touch with your target language. You've got to be consistent and doing it every single day. So how does one become consistent, become a consistent language learner? Well, you're in luck because uh, as a human, your nature is to be consistent. We are creatures of habit, as uh, probably a famous person has once said. But it's true, we are creatures of habit. We do things uh, habitually. So how do you become more consistent? You've got to hook on the desired new habit of listening or practicing or reading your target language to pre-existing habits. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, this was already spoken about uh, at length in the book uh, Atomic Habits. I've not read it, but I've heard people talk about it and I'm pretty sure he, he mentions this uh, technique. Is it a technique? I don't know. To me, it's just logical. Something you do every single day. Your body mind is already programmed to be doing those things. So what you want to do is hook on the habit of language learning to that. Don't try and make language learning a new habit because it will be really tough for your mind body to get into the habit of doing it. It will feel like a lot of effort. It doesn't have to feel like a lot of effort. All you need to do is hook it onto a pre-existing habit. So how do we choose that pre-existing habit? Well, you've got to look at your day. Think to yourself, Onkwan, what things do I do every day without fail, without fail? This might look like brushing your teeth, hopefully, <laughs> eating breakfast, uh, or drinking a coffee in the morning, getting ready for work, driving to work, walking your dog or dogs, if you've got multiple dogs. These are things you do every single day. And also they are things uh, or habits which uh, do not require much brain power, right? You don't have to think when you're walking your dog, oh, I am walking my dog, I must put one foot in front of the other. No, you do it automatically. Same thing with brushing your teeth, same thing with uh, preparing uh, your breakfast and eating your breakfast. You don't have to overthink these things. These are perfect times for you to hook in that habit of listening or reading, if possible, your target language. That is it. It's a very, very simple thing to do, but it is a superpower once you can build this habit of being in touch with your target language every day. So make sure you write down what you do every day and choose a time, make it the same time every day. Don't be moving things about. You have gotta make this really, really simple for your mind body to to follow otherwise it will just go pfft. study spanish at seven o'clock i'm not doing that that's too difficult what you want to do is trick it and say okay okay we're not going to study spanish at seven o'clock we're just going to put some spanish on in the background while we eat breakfast is that good your body and mind will say oh yeah yeah that's fine that's fine and over time this will turn into actively studying the language um, whilst eating breakfast, or maybe you'll eat breakfast while listening to it, and then you'll take five, ten minutes after, because everyone has more time than they think. 
um, to study some vocab or do some reading, to write some sentences. And that is the superpower, guys. I hope you have uh, found this video a little bit useful. If you have, uh, please like it and feel free to share as well. Check out my website, libatlanguages.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. I offer coaching in French, Spanish, uh, Italian and English at the moment. And I've also got the Libat Languages Academy, which is brand new and going really, really well at the moment. People are loving it. So feel free to check that out as well. Any questions, send me an email laybacklanguages at gmail.com. Oh yeah, and follow me on social media as well. I use Twitter a lot. I'm more active on Facebook, Twitter, and the gram. So until next time, take care.